Hey there, welcome back to another Voltage Modular tutorial. Today, we're here to kick off a new series on the channel all about quick tips inside of Voltage Modular to improve your workflow. In this video, I wanted to show you how to save a cabinet inside of Voltage Modular. This is a really handy workflow tip to save your go-to module combinations, including their cable routing, and save a ton of time when you're patching. As you can probably imagine, this is a lifesaver when you want to get a patch going quickly or add your favorite effects to a patch in a matter of seconds. To begin, let's open up the library here and get started by creating a basic subtractive synth. So let's grab an amplifier. We'll need two ADSRs. We'll grab two of those. I'll click to copy that over. We'll grab an oscillator, and then we will grab a filter. Once we've got all that set up, let's order these modules how we'd like them. So we'll move this other envelope here. Now we can start wiring this up because we can save this cabinet with these cables ready to go. Inside of Voltage Modular, a cabinet is anything that's within a row, so any cables reaching outside of this row will not be saved. So what we want to wire up in our cabinet is the core connections for everything within that row. In this case, for a subtractive synth patch, we would probably wire the oscillator into the amplifier, the first envelope to the amplifier, we'll wire the output into the filter, and then we'll wire the output of the second envelope into the frequency mod one of the filter. Now we've got all the core connections for this cabinet ready to go. Once you've got your cabinet set up and you're ready to save it, you can right click or control click on a Mac and then go to save cabinet. Within this dialog, we can save the cabinet with a category. So I've created one called basic setups for all my essentials. You can name that cabinet and then you can check the option to save that with the cables. So this again saves everything within that cabinet or that row. Once you've saved your cabinet, you can access it in the cabinets tab of the library over to the left hand side. So we can see here I've got subtractive synth essentials and I can just drag and drop this in or hit add and it will add it below the current existing cabinet. So we can just add in a bunch of these, add in my FM station and my FMRizer cabinet. And I've called up all of these, including their cabling in just a matter of a few clicks. This cabinet recall workflow is a great way to remove a lot of the tedious patching you may find yourself doing with the essential modules and get patches going fast whenever inspiration strikes. So that wraps everything up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.